Good morning, guys, or should I say good afternoon? Today is the day. If you don't know what I'm talking about, stick around and you'll see. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you stopping by. I want you to take a look at this graph. This graph shows that 20% thereabout of the people that are actually watching my videos are subscribed to the channel. Guys, come on, if you clicked on that thumbnail, there was obviously a reason. I'd appreciate you clicking the subscribe button. We got great content. We got a mixture of, of, of everything on this channel. Some informative information, some educational, and some humor. So that's kind of give you a, 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 a down low on what we do on this channel. But anyway, if you don't know who I am, my name is Brian, and you're watching... So what do I mean by today is the day? Well, you're fixing to find out. Um, I did a couple of videos. If I, if you haven't seen those yet, you're brand new, I'll leave a link in the, in the description box below for those videos. You can go check them out. But today is the maiden voyage number two of the Aaron's Icon Envy 42 inch cut. Done a lot of work to it, and we're gonna see how it performs now. So anyway, I hope you stick around. Click the like button, subscribe button, as I said, and we'll get started in just a second. All right, guys, we are here on the job, and this is kind of what I'm talking about when I say we only use this for small yards and small gates. Now, the grass is a little dormant right now, we finally got some decent rain on on the in this area we got four and a half inches last night and it looks like before the day's over we might get more i hope so we need it but you see this area right here this is what i'm talking about this is the kind of jobs we do with the errands these small gates that gate right there is barely 46 inches wide and the mower on the front of that trailer right there, that Gravely 452, it's 52 inch cut, it won't fit through this gate. So this is what we primarily use this mower for. She's got her little swimming pool set up back here. Now see this grass, this is uh, St. Augustine grass and it stays beautiful and lush. But this back here is uh, it's going to take some some rain to get it to come back. Matter of fact, you can still see the stripes in it from the last time. But we're, we're going to do it anyway because uh, that that right there is getting a little shabby. But anyway, we're gonna, I'm going to get this set up back here so you can see Nate operating it. And you'll see exactly what we do with this machine. I hope, and Nate's picking up the swimming pool. You gonna put it on the back of the truck like we did last time? That's what I would do. Yeah. That way we keep it from being damaged. Can you move it by yourself? No. All right, hold on. Do what? It's not that heavy, it's just that it's awful. It's cumbersome. Yeah. Hold on, I'll help. I, I started saying I hope the wind don't get under and take off with it.
case you didn't know, the Aaron still has some kinks. I wanted to show the naysayers out there that say we abuse this machine, the errands. As you saw Nate cutting the back with the errands, well, I want you to show and show you something. He's using the gravely to cut in the front. There's the errand sitting over there. It's not cutting the whole property. It cut just the backyard to get, and you we used it to get through that gate. And that's primarily what it's used for. Now there's the work of the Gravely. The 452. Look at them edges, how nice and crisp they are. Same thing over here on the flower bed. Nice and crisp. Same thing over there. Nice and crisp. It's called manicured. Oh, daggone, I didn't know my clippers fell out of my pocket. Do you want some? I prefer pedicure. <laughs> oh, Lord, that boy. But anyway, I got to bring my hedge trimmers and trim those bushes next time. But guys, one thing I wanted to show you. Somebody asked me, not on YouTube, but in person. Huh? Uh-oh. The one thing about that errands, it get the seat stays wet, and uh, he forgot what? Oh, he uh, he forgot to put the towel down. But anyway, he's loading up and he's gonna blow off. But guys, one thing I wanted to show you was somebody asked me. Let me turn the camera around. Somebody asked me and said, if if that errands would give you that much problems. Why do you keep using it? Why do you why are you spending money on it? Well, it's a matter of business, really. Uh, I paid about forty five hundred dollars for that errands, and I'm trying to get the camera as far away from my face as I can. I paid forty five hundred dollars for the errands. Thus far, in repairs, I've spent about three hundred three hundred fifty dollars. It's paid for. Why would I want to go spend another five, six thousand dollars on a machine when I can just do the necessary repairs on that and keep it going? It's just business sense, guys. I mean, that's just that's the bottom line. It's just business sense. I wanted to show you one of the main reasons that machine does not have a stripe kit on it, and this camera is crooked. I want you to look at the striping it does. I mean, it lays the most beautiful stripes I've ever seen. Now, what what is this? grass cut on well up until last night we didn't we hadn't had any grass any rain listen to me, any grass we haven't had any rain in over a month and we got four plus inches last night but the grass has not had time to rebound hopefully it will and hopefully by the time we get back here it will we will have gotten more rain but with this is cut on three and a half inches and the reason why is when the grass is stressing like this, it's far better to cut it up a little higher so the dirt doesn't get so hot. The blades of the grass kind of shield it and shade it from the heat, and it doesn't stress as bad, and it rebounds faster. So that's the reason why. But this, I mean, even from this direction, guys, look at the, look at the stripes. They're absolutely beautiful. Nate's blowing off. I'm going to get back to the truck, and we're going to close this out.
right, guys, we are back in the truck on the way to the next job. I'm making sure this doger here is going to stop. And uh, we're going to keep on rolling. The reason I'm doing this, I want, I want you guys to see it. This is the first time it's been used since we, the repairs were done. And I'm doing this as kind of a timestamp to see, number one, do the repairs last? And number two, so I can reference back to, to look and see if there's anything that was done that could possibly cause the repairs to fail. And if so, I mean, if, if they do fail, how long did it take them to go south? So I hope you understand that. This is not really a, a uh, video meant to entertain. Yes, it is, but it's also meant as a timestamp. And I, I hope you understand that. But anyway, Please be sure to click the like button and subscribe button. Click the notification bell. You know what to do, I'd, and I'd greatly appreciate it. If you don't do anything else, like the video, please. This is Brian and Nate, the Big South Boys, with Big South Outdoors TV, reminding you to live big, live southern, and live outdoors. Until we meet again, folks, have a good one.